Typically, when you schedule a face-to-face -face business meeting, rarely would you invite your customers or prospects to your house. But in virtual meetings, you share your camera and strangers are suddenly in your home. In the name of authenticity, maybe you think it's better to showcase your real environment. Or in an attempt to conceal home repair projects, unmade beds or kids or pets playing in the background, you might be tempted to hide what's behind you in two ways, blur your real background or choose a fake one. Some presenters fear the blurry backgrounds because they think an audience might keep wondering, what are they hiding? The fake backgrounds have been more prevalent and virtual platforms offer them in abundance, ranging from professional and tidy to nature landscapes to scenes from popular movies. If you're a fan of the show Schitt's Creek, the Rosebud Motel can now be a part of your Zoom call. But how do these background choices impact the way your virtual buyers process your content? We looked to neuroscience to help us answer this. In our study, we divided B2B buyers into three groups while they viewed the virtual sales presentation delivered against three backgrounds, real, blurry, and fake. We found significantly more attention in the blurry background group compared to the fake background group. It is true that buyers in the fake background group experienced less fatigue, but this is most likely because they paid less attention. Buyers' memory answers in the fake background group included significantly more incorrect information compared to the other two groups. Given that buyers did not pay as much attention in the fake background condition and their memory was worse, we recommend against fake backgrounds in virtual sales presentations. Removing the fake background as a choice leaves us with selecting either real or blurry backgrounds. In our study, the data trended toward more attention, less fatigue, and more motivation for the blurry background compared to the real one. It's possible that buyers were paying more attention because the blurry background was less distracting. It's important to note that buyers in all conditions were viewing the presentation in a nearly neutral emotional state. This is important to know if you fear that a blurry background puts your audience on alert or ignites distrust. In our study, there was no sign of distrust associated with a blurry background. We also found that the occasional glowing glitches caused by fuzzy edges or body halos that occur when using a blurry background did not bother viewers. In addition, in the blurry condition, the amount of blur retained the feeling of a room, which may have then retained the hint of authenticity. This is important to keep in mind because it's possible with some virtual platforms to have too much of a blur, turning the background into an abstract picture. Should you give up using a real background entirely? Participants' eyes tended to dwell on the presenter and the background more in the real condition, and dwell time is often associated with interest. And experts in the real background group had a stronger memory for the content. I'm using a real background right now, knowing that I'm addressing you, an expert audience. So let's summarize the practical implications of this neuroscience study. Do not use fake backgrounds in virtual sales presentations because buyers do not pay as much attention to your content. Blur your background, especially when it's important for your audience to pay attention and remember the content accurately. And when you're addressing both experts and non-experts. And use real backgrounds if you speak to experts or need a conversation starter. You can also use it if you want to emphasize your brand because buyers' eyes will take time to explore a real background.